Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Timo Ring Plus. And we're gonna be seeing whether or not this tool is worth the money, worth your time, worth the investment, and basically, is it worth it? It's a great question. So I did already do a review on Timo. However, the review that I did previously is for the Timo Porta. If you're interested in that video, I'll go ahead and put like a little thing here so that you can go ahead and see that. However, this one is different. This one is for the hair straightening tool that is not portable. This is the one you plug into the wall and you have to sit there and do your hair in front of the mirror and not take with you so the reason why i decided to give this one another chance is because i feel like with the timo porta i feel like that tool was basically not great it was not what they advertised it for i feel like a lot of companies like to advertise their tools so much so that i feel like they omit certain things like yes it is portable however the tool gets really hot in your hand and you are not able to finish or do your hair successfully with the amount of time that the battery holds also you have to go over it a couple of times I don't feel like that was great for me so those were the things that I feel like basically they were not really so fair when it came to actually doing the review for that tool my hair is straight but also some parts are a bit wavy I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you this is a one day wash. So my hair was washed the day before, dried as an air dry. There is nothing going on with my hair. It is basically in its natural state. I did not dry it, not even with a hair dryer. This is just wash, condition, and step out of the shower. And as you can see, it is frizzy. It is straight, but it is also wavy. There are some waves, and when I begin to do my hair, you will see it. So I just wanted to go ahead and address your right, my hair is straight and wavy. We people with straight hair and wavy hair also like to actually straighten in our hair from time to time believe it or not we're here to straighten our hair just like anybody else would and I'm here to give you my honest review on that so what I'm gonna be doing in this video that is different to that video is that I'm gonna be using my personal hair straightening tool which is the bio ionic the one with the vibrating plates that is a standard standard tool there's nothing special about it except for the fact that it vibrates in order to give your hair a little bit more vibrancy a little bit more shine so I'm gonna be using that in a section of my hair not all of it not half of it just a section and then we'll compare it to this new Timo tool so that you guys can see the difference between an actual hair straightening iron and a hair straightening brush so we're gonna try to give this tool a review and ladies if you have hair like me then we'll see if this is the tool for us even for those of us that have some kind of combination of hair that is still considered straight and not curly or coarse hair you know obviously so the tool we have today is the timo ring plus and this is the one that everyone raves over this is the basic one this one is not portable this one is corded so we're gonna go ahead and try this out like I said, I'm gonna try a little section with my hair straightener and we're gonna see if it is worth it. If it's worth your time. If you already have a hair straightener and you're thinking maybe a hair straightening brush is better, we'll see. We'll answer that question together. Okay, not sure if you guys wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing with me, but I guess we'll go ahead and do that. So Ring Plus Ionic Hair Straightener Comb. And then, things that they say about this one is the advanced negative ions technology gives you a frizz free shiny healthy looking hair titanium teeth grip to smooth and create shine so i'm gonna note on that just for a moment because i felt like titanium is a a, a good sign that the tool has if the tool has titanium this is actually a good sign because titanium is usually a good strong heat conductor and it does give shine to the hair so i feel like this is going to be a positive thing 
It says it takes 60 seconds to heat up. Okay, so it says innovative anti-scald design. Nine temperature levels for different hair types. 30 minutes auto off, 30, 360 degree swivel power cord, and an innovative dual voltage, 100 to 240 volts. Let's go ahead and open this. And basically this is what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, things popping out. So those are those little gator clips. I don't really like these. They kind of hurt when I pull them out. So Okay, so what we have here is something pink. I'm not sure what that is. It is a little brush, most random little thing. Little brush. It's reflective. Hello, ring light. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of this is. You know, just... It, little hairbrush okay so here we have a couple of things and i see a glove and a glove already indicates that this thing is going to be really hot so it looks like um, the trend continues here we have the tool i'll take that out right now and basically we have the glove and a little instruction pamphlet nothing left so these like super hot tools kind of scare me here's the glove it does have like these little kind of i don't know what these are they're like little pokey polka dots i pokey polka dots and i would say i will probably wear it on my left hand it's kind of like an even fit I have big hands so it's all right and then here we have the tool it comes with a little bag so that's cool for like traveling very handy okay let's open this up Whoa. okay a little baggy and then here is the tool this is what it looks like i got the red one there's other colors i think there's a pink one basically so i did get this for black friday i thought 40 percent off why not let's go ahead and give it a shot however i feel like this tool is not the most cheap so the regular price is 69.99 which is not really that expensive for a hair tool but you know it's there it's in the average price range so i don't want to make this video super long but we're just going to go ahead and connect this and dive right in thing before i do that i did notice that it does have like a little velcro strap in order to keep the cable nice and tied i do like this i have a couple of hair tools that have this i love this idea i think it's really handy for those of us that want to keep our hair tools nice and neat without a ton of clutter and a ton of cables going on all over the place you know i almost whacked myself with that <laughs> okay immediately there's a con the cable is like super short i'm here hooking it to the back of my sofa which basically has a an extension and still this is really really short this is as far as it'll go okay so right after plugging it in you can tell that it is already like little lights are basically indicating that it is on not really on but like plugged in basically so when you hit the on button you have a digital display of the temperature so right now it's at 290 so i was reading the little user's guide and it says here that if you have soft to thin hair you should use 250 to 270 that's funny because i does it go below 290 okay so once you turn it on it starts at 290 but if you press the minus button it'll go to 270 so for my hair it is thin and fine so it will be 290 to 310 however my hair is dyed and dark colored so i will be somewhere between 330 and 350 i'm gonna go for 350 okay so i set it to 350 we're gonna give it a chance to heat okay so basically hair is already parted i'm all ready to go and the tool is basically at 350 now so i'm gonna try to get as close as i can because this doesn't really this is as far as i can go i'm gonna have to turn my head in order to do my right side so we're gonna start with the left so here we go basically i've already done all the parting i put the glove on but i feel like i'm gonna just try it with my hand here goes 
trying to get as much hair as possible and I'm going to be going against. So basically I'm giving a little bit of tension to my hair on the top side. Okay, um, that's hardly hot. That's hardly hot. I feel no heat. Okay, so I'm going to go from 350 to 370 because I, I, it doesn't even feel hot. It feels mildly warm. It does look better than what it started with, even with just 350. I don't feel like it's going to do so great with just 350. I do feel it hot in the back. Don't keep your hand there too long. But basically the handle is good. The handle is, I'm not feeling the heat on the handle, so that's good. Just give it one more pass. Okay, I bring my neck. <laughs> not with this part, but with the back side. Okay, so I feel like it's all right like that. However, I am gonna give it another pass. I only did one, I'm gonna do it again, just so that the hair, it has a little bit more straightness down here. Basically the tips, I feel like the tips might be the hardest thing to do here. And if you're thinking about curling your hair with this, honestly, I just don't know. Okay, that helped. That definitely helped. So I would do at least two passes for myself at 370. Let's get the two sections of hair and you guys can see basically how it looks. I think it could be better, but it's not so bad. Let's keep going. Okay, that one definitely worked way better. Way better. And I did feel it a little hot, but not enough for me to put on a glove. So, so far I've been getting like really small sections and I'm gonna go ahead and try with a larger section this time. So also I am doing two passes. It's just, it is what it is. Even on a hair straightener, as in flattening iron, I would still do two passes. Okay, got a little tangled there. I did brush my hair though. Got another one. Okay. That's how it looks. It's not bad, actually. Really not bad. Alright. Try the second one. Ok, 
Okay, that's the second one. Just gonna go over the bottom again a little bit. Very nice. All right, and out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see how I can do, I don't think I'll be able to, no. I just don't have enough room to turn my arm in order to try to curl. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, it did give it like a little bit of a bend. Interesting. Yes, it did give it a little bit of a bend. You won't be able to get like a great curl here. However, if you're okay with a little bend like this, you're able to do it. However, just plug into somewhere where you have space because this cable is short. I'm going to go ahead and try to straighten it because I'm going for straight. Okay, this is what we have so far. Alright, the ends are just not great. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm basically doing two passes on everything and trying to get some larger sections here. This might not look very large, but... Okay, so this is the last section on my left side. So I did say I didn't have to go to my roots, but for those of you who do need to go to your roots, I'm gonna try to do it for you so you can see it. I'm gonna try to get as low as possible here. And this thing is really giving me a struggle. So I'm gonna just, that is really hot. Okay. 
I tried to get in there. You can get close, but not that close. Keep in mind, this is a hot tool, so you might not want to get that close to your scalp with such a hot tool anyway, so, but I'm gonna try to get from under it. If you see me looking this way, my mirror is over here, that's why. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom just a, one more time. The ends are a little bit hard to do. Okay, and this is what we look like on this side so far. I feel like so far, I am impressed. This is way, way sleeker than what the Timo Porta could ever possibly get to. I have a bunch of hair falling out the other side. So let's go to the other side now. Okay, here we go for this side. So this is gonna be a little difficult here. Okay, so when you grab big sections like that, I don't know if you just saw that, when you grab big sections like this, you run the risk of your hair just, as you get to the ends, your hair, it just kind of slips out and sits on top of the brush bristles or whatever that is, the rounded area. That's basically your heat conductor. And that's when I'm saying, that's why I'm saying that there's a possibility that you might not get the ends that great. You might have to go back to do the ends. So. You kind of really make sure that they're in there. And then maybe just hold down your hair to make sure that they are passing through. And then basically, yeah, just let them slip out. I don't know what just happened here. I think it turned off on me. It's kind of weird. Why did it shut off? Okay, that time it did feel hot. <laughs> I'm trying to grab onto it with my thumb. It's kind of, it's getting a little hot. Okay, so I did say that I was gonna give a try to my my Bio Ionic and my my regular hair flat iron, and I just want to go ahead and compare how straight my Bio Ionic can get it, which I've had this for a couple of years now. Really great tool, and just compare it with this one. So first things first, look how long this cable is. It's so wonderful. I love it. <laughs> And yeah, it also has a little tie. So, so what we're gonna do is, real quick, I'm gonna do one section with my Bioionic 
and then we're gonna do another section with the timo once again i'm gonna turn on the vibrating plates and you'll hear this is one of the greatest hair tools i've ever purchased i loved bioionics so much that i bought the hair curler even though i have like three hair curlers including one that spins i still i love bioionic i really trust them and yeah. this isn't a video of bioionic but i just felt like i needed to explain what tool this is in case you guys are curious i'll go ahead and link that one down in the description box below so that you guys can see it if you want to by the way this is not sponsored by bioionic or timo or anybody else okay so this will be the one that i do with the bioionic we're gonna start now oh by the way this is heated to 360 degrees hope you guys can see that okay and basically it just makes noise they vibrate in order to give the hair a little bit of more shine so the, the plates are made of like titanium i'm not sure actually if it's titanium but they're also made of volcanic rock which helps uh give the hair a shine i don't know <laughs> but listen it works so That's really slow, I know. All right, so that's after just one pass. Should I even bother doing another pass? I don't think so. I don't think it's necessary. The great thing about doing your hair with a hair iron is that you can be sure that depending on the pressure you have on your hand, which is the pressure anybody has on their hands you can definitely get the ends and you don't have to go over them unless you don't have a very good hair product so let's continue with the time off Okay, that's how it looks. I feel like... Okay, this was the one that I did with my hair iron. There is a little bit of areas here where it did not do such a great job. And then this is the one that we just did, which also has the same thing, areas where it could have done a little bit better. However, I feel like this is better at one pass than this one. Mind you, this was at 360 degrees on my flat iron. This is at 370 degrees on the Timo. You guys tell me which one looks better to you because I think it's the hair iron one. And that's just my honesty. I, I feel like the hair iron did better at one pass with 10 degrees less. The ends just look better. I feel like the ends, it's all about the ends here. Let's go ahead and give it another pass. Jesus, this is really bad. <laughs> I feel like up top it doesn't even have that much of an issue but the bottoms the ends are just I'm gonna go ahead and brush it and then I'll turn around for you guys so you guys can see how it looks So 
All right, guys, and here is the finished product. Okay, this is the part where I have to come up with a conclusion. So I feel like this device, why do I keep calling it a device? So I feel like in this review, I feel like totally different. I feel 100% a shift in the force or whatever you may call it. This is definitely a way better hair tool than the Timo Porta. If I were to recommend something from Timo, it would definitely be this hairbrush. However, with all tools, there's pros and cons. So one of the cons that was most irritating to me was the fact that the cable was so damn short. Like, I don't know how long it actually is unless I took a measuring tape and started to try to uh, measure it, but I feel like it's way too short. So if you're in a small bathroom or you need a longer distance, get ready Ready for an extension cord because if not you're gonna be struggling like me if you did watch the video you saw that on my right side I was very very tight and I couldn't really adjust myself because of the camera and the light and I needed to have it on my right side because I was on my right side whereas with my left I'm able to turn a little bit better so there's that issue it's just a really short cable so the other con was the fact that i could not get the ends as straight as i wanted them my hair is falling off <laughs> i couldn't get my hair as straight as i wanted to as in my ends i kept having to go over them i'm pretty sure you saw that but yeah it, i just wish that there was a way that i could make it better so yeah i feel like that was the only other con those two cons a short cable and it doesn't do the ends very good i feel like if the cable had been just a little bit longer everything would have been great and i also feel like if we had just if we were able to do our ends a little bit better because the thing is that you have to actually stick your hair in there make sure that you get small sections in order to properly put your hair through the tool through the titanium and let your hair brush up on that and stick with heat so that is the other thing that you just have to play around with be sure that your hair gets in there all of it evenly spread into the brush other than that it's a pretty very easy to use tool you do have to give a little bit more heat like i usually don't go up to 370 you saw me with my regular hair iron and i only go to 360 there with one pass i'm one and done so with this tool you do have to go just a little bit more and i feel like that's why they give you the glove because once you get up to 370 or more then you're probably gonna have to wear this because my thumb was starting to get pretty burnt so this tool does get really hot i feel really bad for those of you who have to use this hair tool and get to your roots because it is really difficult to get to your roots using this kind of hair tool so keep that in mind and basically yeah i just i don't think i'll be keeping it seeing as how i already have a hair tool that i love and i basically just bought this to give you give it a shot just to see if it could change my mind and honestly i had a bad experience with that timo porta tool and i just thought oh no timo that's not for me but i'm glad i gave this one a shot because it is actually much better than i thought it just turns out that that timo porta is not great however with this tool it's much better i if i didn't have a flat iron that i trust a flat iron that i know that i love and i've been using it for years if i didn't have that i would definitely consider keeping this tool okay guys and with that being said that pretty much concludes this video if you like the video please go ahead and give it a like if you have any comments go ahead and leave them down below and if you like these videos and want to see more of them i actually do have a couple i'll add the playlist to the end screen and you guys can watch Watch more of those please consider subscribing and i will see you all in the next time also i will have everything that i used pretty much linked down below in the description box so if you're curious about the hairbrush uh the hair iron and this tool it'll be down there see you guys later bye